Hi, this is Dr. Rehtari. Welcome to another SOLIDWORKS tutorial. We introduce a few more features in today's tutorial. This is the part we'd like to make. So you can see that it, it looks like maybe a mold or uh, some kind of cast. Uh, so it made out of wood. So we have a shell, we have rip. So let's just start. Uh, quickly from here go to uh, parts and I make front plane so uh, I want to make first uh, center line and right here I go to tools and I go to dynamic mirror and this is dynamic mirror already the line so I make line like this here, here, and here, and then let's just keep some dimension here. This one I make it 180, and this one I make it 60. This would be 30, and so as this length would be 30, so it's going to be very symmetric here now. So we go to here. Boss extrude, and I make it uh, 30 would be the thickness. I use the graph angle of 10 degree, and this is the shape I made it. Next thing I do, I go to shell, and as the name suggests, create a shell. I have to decide what is the thickness. Thickness would be five here. What uh, surface I want to shell? This is the surface. I can click here to uh, show the preview. I can make a shell outward, and finally I can have multi thickness setting for example if I click here and I want to have this side and this side and this side to have different thickness this would be the outcome so you can go back here and modify that I do not need this multi setting and this is what I need the next thing I do I press on the surface here making a sketch perpendicular to it so I make a simple rectangle here like this and then I make uh, another line here from here to here press A and finish this so let me just give you some dimension to this uh, this is make it 18 make it 15 and this one is going to be 20 so we finish this one here, I select that and I go to tools and sketch tools and I can make a copy. You can make a copy here, you can X and Y or you can do from to. So copy from here to let's say for example here. And uh, let's see, uh, first of all you have to make sure this line and this line, they are uh, coin collinear they are and then this line and this line it should be also collinear and they are now so this is done so the next thing I want to extrude them I go extrude bus and I use maybe 20 as a thickness there we go and now I want to actually make these cuts here so in order to do that uh, I could use shell you know, you have to realize that for making one particular uh, geometry, there are several ways of doing it. And you have to decide which one is the best. And again, you have to think in advance. For example, if I use shell, can I do the pattern in the shell? Maybe it's not possible. So, again, there is not one single way. So, in this case, I want to do something rather than shell. What I do is I use a basic uh, extrude, so extrude cut. I select this surface and I make a sketch convert entity I made already this is an entity then I go to offset entity and I go here to reverse and this is going to be two so this is done here now uh, finish I select this perhaps control and this line and I go extrude uh, and I extrude it all the way through And here is my geometry. 
Same thing with this one here. Making a sketch, convert entity, offset. We go here inside. We made it. So we go select here and perhaps this line here. Cut. And the same thing. And here you all the way through. Finally, here again repetition. Go to control. Uh, convert entity and make here reverse it control done and you select these two extrude cut all the way through well imagine if I want to do this many times it's gonna take quite a bit so the better option is that you just select what you did so you select all the options here you have uh, you select all these four one two three four and then use a simple pattern so let me do it again it's hanged on me a little bit uh, do it again so sometimes it happens here so because uh, I'm in the background using another uh, software to run the camera and that's what makes it a little bit slow let's see if I can get it off here uh. No, not really. Okay, well, no, still I can't do it. Okay, maybe. There we go. And now I use pattern. And so I want to make a pattern here. So I want to do it align this axis. And you can see that. So um, I want to flip the side. And you can see I can make the distance here like this. I can have a two or three or four. In this case, I need only three. And press OK. And this the geometry has been created. Oh, of course. Uh, I, I think I made it four. So it makes a handle like this as well. That wasn't my intention here. Let's go back here. It has to be three. And here we go. So now what I want to do next would be making uh, this part here. So that's not difficult. You go here and this uh, make it a sketch vertical and I make a line here. Go from here to here A and the next thing would be I go and I extrude bust that so I make it five. This is done, and now uh, again I select the surface, make a sketch perpendicular to that, and I this time I make a circle. I go to circumference of this and it opens up, it brings up the center. And this is what I want. And again, if you see that this doesn't look very uh, appealing in terms of the quality, you can increase the image quality here. So this is done. And now, finally, I want to do an extrude. And in the extrude, I go up to the surface. And this is my surface. And here, what I get. That's exactly what it looks like. Finally, I want to add a few ribs here. So in terms of the rib, you have to define a uh, a plane and a line so I go here to I make a plane and I make the plane uh, let's see if this is my plane I go flip and this is the plane I have five millimeter below this uh, edge so this is my plane and now I go to plane and I make a sketch perpendicular and I make a few lines here I make uh, let me magnify that let's see from here I make to here and then uh, make another one from here to here so I made these two lines and now the next thing I will do would be I go to rip and when they open the rib, they have, they have a few options here. So uh, one of the options here is 
you go left or right and the distance I'll make it one millimeter and this is going down this is how you simply did that so let me just go back here maybe I do it too fast sorry you didn't dash it so what I have here several options here so this is the thickness and I can in this particular case you can see that going down I can do it this way and sometimes it doesn't work because in this particular case it, 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 it's not possible so uh, what I have here like this and you can flip the material in this case not gonna be possible either because it's not gonna go up so the only choice I have here is using uh, this way oh uh, what happens here now yes this is the one you should do and here it makes the rep so you could continue doing this you can have another one here now something interesting I would like to explain now so you see the rip is based on the line I plotted and the line is on the plane so if I want to change the height of this rip I can simply go here and I can modify my plane and if you recall the plane was a uh, five millimeter and I can make it here now uh, 10 millimeter it's gonna go lower and as soon as I do that, again the rip becomes smaller as well. Okay? Or I simply could have gone to the plane and I could have made it instead of uh, 5, 2. And now what's going to happen here is see that because now the rip is above this surface, it makes a problem. And it has, uh, as it suggests here, there is an error here. So you have to be careful when you modify that. So for me, five would be a minimum because you start from here. I also um, can make rip between these guys here. Let's just do it quickly. So I define another plane, go to reference geometry. And in that case, I want this surface here. See the distance. And again, I go flip five below. This is my plane. I simply go here, uh, make it uh, sketch perpendicular, and make a line here. This line be from this guy to here, and maybe make another one here in the same plane from here to here. So I made two and now I go to rip and just click on it and you see simply uh, you generated something like this. So if you want to make it flush fit here then you have to go to the plane and you have to change the geometry there and you make it 10 or actually make it 0. Uh, no, you have to bring it a little higher, sorry. So you go to second plane, oh no, you go to this plane, and I should have made make it 5, I think I made a mistake here, I changed something I should have changed. This was the other plane. Yes, this was 5, yes. And I should have changed this plane, so I'll go here to geometry, and so I make it zero. Let's see what's gonna happen here. And as you can see now, uh, this is flush with these two sides. Finally, the last thing I want to do here is go simply to appearance, and you just give uh, different appearance in this particular case. Let's go to organic and maybe cherry wood. There we go, and here what I get. So this explains a uh, few features. So if you want to review, we use uh, reference geometry for making a rib, and we use shell, and we use pattern. Uh, this could help you uh, to practice uh, to using these features, and this would conclude this segment of our tutorial. Thank you.